In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to properly format an unstructured FrameMaker document. In this example, I have some text already on the page. I'm going to click on Fighter Bomber and I can choose a style. In this case, I'll choose one of the pre-built styles, Title, for System Operations Guide, Heading 1. This is already a body tag. I'll leave it as it is. I can select these list items and maybe call these bulleted. This is also body and each of these will be a numbered list. The first one should be numbered one though. That resets the count and that way if you have numbers later on down in the document the number will start over at one if that's what you want. Now notice here I have a paragraph return but there's not a space in between these lines. So in order to make this look better a lot of folks will just go ahead and hit another return. That's kind of breaking the rules of desktop publishing having two of these paragraph returns back to back. So I'm going to remove that. In order to change this I need to modify the styles. So I can go over here to design view and in design view I have my body style. In the basic section I could perhaps add some space below the paragraph. Hit apply and even update the style and this will also help to remove any overrides I might have in the document. I prefer to add space below and above that way my list items have a nice space. So I can put, say, 7 here and maybe 7 here and update the style, and now I have a nice safe base in between here. Uh, if I wanted to make a change, for example, in this paragraph, maybe I wanted it to be red for some reason, I could go into this paragraph designer, go to font, and say, for example, in a color I choose red. I can go ahead and update the style, but now that's going to update all of the paragraphs here to red. So if I were to just hit apply here, this actually is only red. These are still black, but I've created an override. Overrides are bad. Don't use them. Try to eliminate them as much as possible in any of your documents. So what I can do instead is I can turn this into a new style. So I'm just going to call this red body, for example, and I'm going to create a style. And this way I'm preventing the override problem. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip tutorial on Unstructured FrameMaker.